this team, truly a team, that will take West Haven moving forward. I pledge my cooperation, my aid, and my presence whenever I can help. And God bless you, and God bless West Haven and America. Thank you so much. Do each solemnly swear or affirm that you will support the Constitution of the United States? Constitution and laws of the state of Connecticut, the charter of the city of West Haven, so long as you continue a citizen thereof, and that you will each faithfully discharge, according to law, the duties and responsibilities of the office of city council to the best of your abilities to help you God. Congratulations. Do you solemnly swear or affirm that you will support the Constitution of the United States Constitution of the State of Connecticut, so, so long as you continue as a citizen thereof, and that you will faithfully discharge, according to law, the duties of the Office of Members of the Board of Education of the City of West Haven, to the best of your abilities, so help you God. Do you solemnly swear uh, or affirm that you will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of Connecticut, so long as you continue a citizen thereof, and that you will faithfully discharge, according to law, the duties of the Office of Tax Collector to the best of your abilities to help you God. Congratulations. Mayor, according to the laws of the city of West Haven, to the best of your ability, so help you God, are under the pain of penalty for perjury or false statement? I do. Then congratulations, Mr. Mayor. Good afternoon. I want to start by thanking everybody for being here. State, local, and federal officials, local business leaders, and citizens of West Haven. I would especially like to thank the family members of all the elected officials on stage with me today. Nobody got here alone. We all spent a lot of time away from our families to get here. And I want to thank the families. Um, please join me in a round of applause for the family. I want to recognize my mother, Annette, and my stepdad, Don. My brothers and sisters, Rosemary, Michael, and Frank, and their families. And to my wife, Roberta, my son, David, and my daughter, Caitlin, I love you all very much. And I want to thank you for all the sacrifices you made in your quest to help me make West Haven a better place. Thank you, all of you. There's one family member not present today. As many of you know, I'm the son of a, retire, or of a, a police officer from New Haven, Sergeant Dermot O'Brien, who passed in 1984. Although he's not with us physically, I know he's with us every day and looking down with us with great pride today. So I just want to recognize my father. Thank you. We're all here because of my mom and my dad. Growing up, 
I was taught the importance of hard work, honesty, and giving back to the community. These are values that have guided me through my life and values that will bring me to the office of the mayor. West Haven is a great city, but it needs some TLC. When I was growing up on Washington Avenue, these streets were the hub of the city. There were shops that you could buy anything from clothing to hardware. You could get a haircut while waiting for a prescription, or you could stop for a bakery or a snack at a restaurant. Yes, there's businesses here today. They're mostly destination businesses. It's, it's where customers get in their car, they drive to one business, they get in their car, and they leave West Haven. The center is a microcosm of the city. We need to get back to foot traffic and sense of community in our town. Currently, <laughs> currently, the city is in financial crisis. The streets and neighborhood are in disarray, the education system is fractured, and safety is a concern. These aren't my words. These are words of people I've met knocking door to door, talking to residents in the last several months. They're very much really concerns of the people of our city. I will seek to improve the financial situation by increasing revenues through growing our, growing our commercial base. We will review incentive programs and change them if needed to benefit the residents and aggressively and market the city of West Haven to businesses. We will review all zoning regulations and ensure that they meet the needs of all our residents as well as current and prospective businesses. And we must retain and attract the commercial base to the area around the train station in the post road. The post road is an economic driver from, from towns and cities from Maine to Florida. It will be in West Haven again. I will immediately institute a cleanliness program. For too long, our, res our city has gone unkept, reducing our ability to attract businesses and visitors. We need our city to be more attractive, and I will lead by example. I will make the city and streets, parks, municipal buildings, and city property better maintained, something that we can all be proud of. And I invite every homeowner, business owner, and civic group to join me and take a little extra care with their property. When you When you move to a new home, the first thing you do is sweep the floors. We are about to rebuild a better West Haven, and we're going to start sweeping. And I ask everybody to join me. While I was talking to residents, there was a feeling in some areas that services were not equal. This perception will change. For too long, West Haven has been described as three cities, Allentown, the Center, and West Shore. While diversity in one neighborhood and pride is important, we are one city, and city services will be equal citywide. As a parent of two children, one who graduated West Haven High School last year and is attending University of Tampa, and one who is in eighth grade in Bailey Middle School, I know the education system needs improving. This is one of the first things families look for when looking to move into a new city. We must elevate the standings in our state and federal rankings in education. I will provide the Board of Education and the Superintendent of Schools with the tools they need to ensure that every West Haven child is provided the best education we can afford. <laughs> West Haven has some of the finest men and women working in law enforcement. I want them to know that they have an administration that supports them and values the job they do every day to keep the residents of West Haven safe. I will work with the Chief of Police to ensure safety of our residents continues to be important. We must feel safe when walking in our neighborhoods, along our beaches, or shopping in our downtown. As you can see, we have a lot of work to do. But I have always believed that West Haven is, is the best city in Connecticut and one of the best kept secrets in the state. I was born and raised here and returned with my family to purchase our home and start our family. It is where I chose to open my business and is where we chose to raise our children and educate our children. I pledge that my administration's goal and everything that I do will be to better <coughs> West Haven. We just went through a very long election cycle. 
and I'd be remiss if I didn't mention it. The past is the past. From this day forward, when you work with my administration, there's no R, B, or I attached to your name. We are all West Haven residents, and I look forward to improving and enjoying our city with everybody. <coughs> I am very blessed to be have given the opportunity to lead West Haven. It's a responsibility I take seriously and will devote 100% of my energy to. But I need your help. We are all stakeholders in this city, and we all have a lot to gain. It'll not be easy, and I will make mistakes along the way. But I promise you that we'll get through it together through hard work and smart choices. We will show the world what we already, already know, that West Haven is the greatest place to live and work. Again, I want to congratulate all the elected officials and wish them the best of luck in, in the coming term. I thank you again for sharing this day with all our elected officials and all of our families. And I want you to know that West Deep Pride runs deep in your new mayor. I look forward to representing our city with dignity and pride. I wish everybody a very happy holiday. Um, where are you, Ben? The holiday season, we all count our blessings. In West Haven, we recount them. <laughs> Thank you all for coming. Thank you, Mayor O'Brien. Yes, we do recount them. <laughs> this is the moment, this is the day, when I send my doubts and demons on their way. Every endeavor I may coming into play. This is the moment, the sweetest moment of them all. This is your moment, Demigod. This day or never, you'll sit forever with Bye, Mo.